Hello and welcome to the Vector Garden YouTube channel. My name is Monika and in this video we're going to take a look at the efficiency of pattern, at least one aspect of their efficiency. So let's take a look at these two files that I have here. This one and the other one and they are basically the same. But when we look at them in the finder we can see that there is a 5 kilobyte difference between them. So why does that happen? When I select this pattern, you see how it looks in the swatches window, like this. And the other one looks like this. So there's a difference between them. Now, how does this difference come into existence? Now, in order to check that out, I'm going to create a new file and inside of it I'm going to create a pattern. And when you create a pattern you sometimes resort to older methods of creating pattern. These methods work in analog ways so you can use them on paper and of course people use these methods for creating pattern several years in Illustrator before Illustrator came up with the pattern editing mode. So what you did was starting to create your pattern by putting things in the corners of the given space and then you had of course to duplicate them so they get repeated and you had to duplicate them in the other corners as well. So then you could create a pattern and this pattern repeated and formed the dot in the area. So when you use this in Illustrator's pattern tool, what you could do is select all of those and get rid of them. And then in order to keep this measurement you draw a rectangle like so and then you have the measurements of the repeat you want. Select them all and then go to Object, Pattern, Make. There we have it and then what we can do is use the Pattern tool in these Pattern options and then we can adjust this tool to this rectangle and then use the selection tool to delete the rectangle. And there we have the pattern we wanted. And you see this is the result. This is how the pattern swatch will look like. And then we can click on Done. What happens when you use this pattern now is the following. So I'm going to create a new shape and then let's delete the stroke and get into the fill and apply this pattern. There it is. Now this pattern looks very simple on the surface in Illustrator, but inside of it there's some more happening. So let's take a look at that. In order to see that, what we need to do is go to Object and Expand. There it is, just the fill, Expand. And then we get the result, which will be visible in the Layers panel. And there we have the result. And you see, there will be a lot of groups inside of it. So let's dissect this. I'm going to Object, Clipping Mask, Release, and then we have several groups. Let's get rid of that as well. And now we can select those single parts. So these are the single pattern elements, like so. But that is still not all. These as well are clipping masks. So let's go to Object, Clipping Mask, Release. So that's inside of 
that clipping mask. And then you, you can see it. So let's select all of these, not that one, and go to Object and then Clipping Mask and release those as well. And what you see is then what is inside of your patterned element. And you see there are a lot of dots which are overlapping each other and they are layered on top of each other and they are duplicate, which is unneeded. So how can we improve that? I'm going to delete all of these and then we are coming to our comparison. So let's first duplicate this pattern swatch and then I'm going to edit it. I'm going to double click it, get into this editing mode. And what we now need to do is unselect this option. We are not going to move the tile with the artwork. And then I'm going to select this circle and move it in the center. So we have the same repeat, the same distance and everything. We just move this circle into the center of the tile. That's all. I'm going to click done and then I'm out of it. And then let's create this rectangle and I just need to exchange fill and stroke like so. And this is how, has now our second pattern applied. So let's duplicate it and apply the other one like so. And you see we have the same number of dots in it. So let's select them both and go to Object Expand and let's expand the fill. And then we are going to measure this. So let's go to Window, Document Info and set this to objects. And then we see how many paths are in it. So this has 33 paths in it. So those are the circles themselves and some of the masks. And this one has 81 paths. So there are a lot more elements, all these circles, which are stacked onto each other. And then of course the masks. And this, of course, has an impact on the efficiency of your pattern. When working with it inside Illustrator, just imagine you have a lot of patterns inside your artwork. And also when you send this to the printer, because all of this has to be processed. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.